Capitalism is Killing Us All by Eric Schechter Climate change will hit bigger and faster than most people expect, as they don't understand its non-linearities. Watch soon for Arctic methane, huge famine, civilization collapse, which won't halt the non-linearities, ecosystem collapse, and global extinction. To avert that, we need big changes, fast. The melting of the Arctic, which began a few years ago, should have been a wake-up call to ban oil, but instead our insane rulers rushed to divvy up Arctic oil. The rich and powerful will discover too late that they can't eat money. Power, from money, elections, any source, corrupts. Authoritarians beat their families, bosses bully workers, guards torture prisoners, police shoot the poor, and our rulers lie to start mass murder, wars for profit. Hierarchy concentrates power. We should replace it with horizontal networking. Democracy is an illusion. Gillens and Page's 2014 statistics proved the rich get the public policies they want, and the rest of us don't. Money is influence. So, the only way to end rule by the wealthy class is to not have a wealthy class. That requires a wholly different economic system, which in turn requires widespread understanding. So hand out leaflets. How is capitalism at fault? Well, we don't share, so we trade labor for money, to trade for food and rent and everything else. Trade favors the trader in the stronger bargaining position, making him stronger still. Thus, inequality grows. It's now enormous. It divides us into poverty and plutocracy. Buyer and seller may negotiate, but other parties bear externalized costs, unmeasured side effects. Those include war, poverty, and ecocide. So the market's efficiency is a lie. And privately owned workplaces are dictatorships. That's why we hate Mondays. But the sickness is in all of us, in our current culture. Competition makes us commodities to be exploited or discarded. Property separates our lives, killing empathy. Insecurity engenders racism, sexism, austerity, and other kinds of bullying. Getting ahead is an incentive for deceit, theft, and murder. The homeless on street corners are constant visible reminders of our society's unconcern. Every week some desperately lonely man shoots up a school. But we don't shoot our friends. Can't we all be friends? Our current culture, fighting over hierarchy and property, has lasted 10,000 years. But for 200,000 years before that, we lived as equals and shared everything of importance. There was no way to get ahead of others. That's still our true nature. We can return to it. The first step is to get more people talking about it. You can read more at leftymathprof.org. The blue underlined phrases are links to related materials.